everyone. Uh, hoping you all practicing good. You started your practice well. Abhi, Abhishek, Shushma, Gananath, Srinivas, Mukesh, Naresh, Paramal, Agu, Tejishvi, Udik, Vizay. How is the practice? Sir, yeah, it's going. It's going on the practice I'm doing. Wonderful. So how about others? Going yeah, good? It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very good. Oh, wonderful. So any confuse anyway? No, I didn't face any confusion. You're not, you don't have any confusion. Okay. Yeah. So everyone receiving videos. Videos in the same drive. This is your folder. We are not sending every day. So this is your folder. Don't ask anyone in this folder. This is a videos area. You will find all the videos. Why are you, Why are you not receiving? Not daily you will get a link. This is a one-time link. I already placed in the WhatsApp level also. The same link in the WhatsApp level also. It's very hard to identify which video is for what day. Is it possible to sort it by date or number or something? Because if I look for a particular day, it's very hard to identify uh, where to find it. No, no, see, so, see, sir. I already opened. Yes, I see one, two, three, four number yeah, here. Four, four, is a four, current one. And it is oh. day-wise only. The video, it's day-wise only. Okay. Day-wise and the document, everything clearly available. It's size. Even see the sequence number also available. Okay. All right. So it's you're same. looking in number four. Okay. Maybe the arrangement in your drive is not proper. So go to this. I request yes. everyone go to this mm -hmm. lab practice. Sorry, this is for lab practice in case you want to download. For videos, right. go to videos. Okay. Demo videos in this area, one and two. Do demos and demo related documents. And video lab backup material locations, where you find and how you need to see. Over a BA demo, over a <coughs> accounts information, sequential order. Four, five, six, the videos are video order. And extract data, we are in the extract data topic, three, seven, so seven, eight, nine videos. Okay, all right. Any confuse now? Anyone, uh, no. uh, anyone having any confuse? Sorry, how did you short it out uh, in the series? Have you modified, last modified? So here, see, if you want sequence ladder, there is a grid layout. If I go to grid layout, it's quite confusing. Okay, yes. Maybe you guys are viewing like this. Please don't view. Just go to list view. List layout will give you this. This is a place. Hmm. Okay, fine. So as I understand, it will go through in this video, uh, number four extract date, Power BI desktop going forward, all videos, right? Because other no, tools no, are extraction, demo. No, no, extraction topic, extraction videos. Next, okay. transformation topic, transformation videos. Okay, all right. So okay. My objective is students will come to know what exactly they are learning and what oh, okay. topics they have. If I keep all the videos one by one like this, there is a quite confusion. It was good for a couple of people, but uh, many people asked me, 
sir please put in put in a folder relevant videos let me show you one example see this class one so if you want me to place like this i will do it one two three four five videos like this all the class videos you want like this yeah i, I mean uh, we that will be easier for us to yes. follow through going through our folders yes but this would be much easier for me as well which i think videos wise this is good but the problem is coming to documents i cannot place relevant documents at the same time people mm. getting doubts sir which videos come under transformation part which videos come under dax part which videos come under power bi service part which videos come under extraction part even they are having doubt if the videos are like this you cannot identify what type of videos come under which part that is one more issue yeah i understand yeah right now we are not seeing many but as we go further we will see so many so mm. it will be easier to go by task now you want to learn only dax or you want to update dax but these all videos will confuse you dax is only available in the last one unless you know the topics and all no not possible and coming to documents also relevant topic documents i cannot add if you add documents also complete mess it's a mess Yes, and anyone can give anyone can give good suggestions so that i will follow it In i case. think the current one is very good sir to understand it is clear uh, going through folder by folder to understand to go through the videos and go through the files thank you sir you guys can give better ideas also no issues guys sir yes madam Today class run not in it, sir. Today's date is mentioned is the. All the date under nandi man check kar le. But a la. Last modified date. Modified change in the hota. Today date is September twenty seven kira. Kadal le. Zero zero man upload change thang kapre date house no le. They never modify change le kora except me. Hmm. And I never do it. Once I upload, I never do it. Hmm. ఇప్పుడు వీడియోస్ కి లెర్న్ కొని 24 25 ఉంది ఇది ఎప్పుడు మోడిఫై అవ్వదు హ్మ్ సో మీకు వరీ అవసరం అవసరం లేదు డేట్ పెట్టడం వల్ల ఏమవుతుంది అంటే కంటెంట్ సరిగ్గా బాగుండదండి చూడడానికి బాగుండదు ఓకే అంటే మీరు హెడ్డింగ్ 7 pm 19th సెప్టెంబర్ అంటే బ్యాచ్ ఇండికేషన్ అన్నమాట మీకు ఎప్పుడు స్టార్ట్ అయ్యింది హ్మ్ సో నా థాట్ ఏంటంటే ఇక్కడ సెప్టెంబర్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ సెప్టెంబర్ టుడేస్ డేట్ మేడం ఇక్కడ ఉందండి ప్రతి వీడియో ఆపోజిట్ గా డేట్ ఉంది అందుకే ఇక్కడ మెన్షన్ చేయట్లేదు డేట్ మెన్షన్ చేస్తే మీకు ఈజీగా ఉండదు కంటెంట్ ఇవ్వలేదు ఇక్కడ ఇలా కంటెంట్ ఇవ్వడానికి కుదరదు అది ఇష్యూ కొంతమంది ఇస్తారు చిన్న చిన్న టైటిల్స్ పెట్టి డేట్ ఇస్తారు దానివల్ల నీకు కంటెంట్ ఏముంది అందులో తెలియదు ఇందులో కంటెంట్ ఏముందో తెలుస్తుంది సో ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ ఇలా అరేంజ్ చేసుకున్నారు అనుకోండి ఇన్ కేస్ యూఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు అరేంజ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఈజీగా అర్థం అవుతుంది సో ఇప్పుడు నైన్త్ వీడియో లాస్ట్ మోడిఫైడ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద డేట్ అండ్ దిస్ ద సైజ్ క్లియర్ గా ఉంటుంది అండ్ దిస్ ద కంటెంట్ అండ్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఫర్ దిస్ టాపిక్స్ యూ వాంట్ టు సి మెటీరియల్ దిస్ ద మెటీరియల్ పీడిఎఫ్ మెటీరియల్ ఫర్ ద ఎక్స్ట్రాక్షన్ ఫార్ అండ్ రన్నింగ్ నోట్స్ ఇస్ దిస్ now thank you for your session okay well, idu kaad anukunte cheppandi aa vidham kuda pedadam but prathi roju date pettukovali anthu kunchi undu ala daily daily wise date ante manaki possible avadu sir ayithe avuthundi amma ekkada pettukuntaru cheppandi daily wise date ante ekkada sir ante idu edit chesi appudu ani meeku oka idea undundi kada andi idea cheptu dan prakaram man chedam
how long do we have this access to share drive after the classes are done one one and a half year will be there sir one i'm sorry one and or one and a half year oh, okay all right okay let me start the session i will go to last last extraction part so we completed extracting data from web extracting data from pdf ms word excel flat file json file xml file and creating table how many ways we create tables three ways one is mashup language second one dax language So total three ways available. You can create tables, mashup, and DAX also completed. Now the pending part, creating a proper date table. Let me create a proper date table. You focus. So where was our file? Click on Power BI Desktop. I will go to file menu, browse reports. I will go to 7 p.m. September. This was the one. What is the size of it? 101 KB. Click OK. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a date table. What is date table? A table with date and date parts, date column and date parts, a table with date and date parts. So what do you mean by date part, year, month, quarter, day? These come under date parts. What is date table? A table with a date column and date parts. I will create, last class we created using DAX. This is modeling menu go to new table i will write here dim date one equal to dim date one equal to calendar start date end date start date end date start date i'm taking date of 2017 01 comma date of 2017 Zero one, not 2017, 2021. Four years I'm giving. Between these two, the date values you will get. Between those two, the date values you get.
now i will go to this dim date one please look at this date table ready see this is a table name you created and this is a column system created the column is this and it is having date values table name column name date value starting from this ending value this is the ending value you can go and see in the town this is ending value so between these two you got set up date values love you okay now the next part is from for example yes if i don't want this uh, hours minutes and seconds value what should i do i will tell you sir okay. i'll tell you now we need to have a separate formula i'll show you now okay. all right so i will take i want to take year beside this right click new column i want to take year only so take new column now you are going to write dax functions many dax functions you are going to write year equal to year of asking a date so this date table date column you need to take or this column so write dim date dim date of date this is one dax function this is called argument this dax function taking the argument i am passing it here dim date one date brace close click save only year value right click new column i want only month month equal to month of dim date table date so this is the table name date column table name date column date from this only month it will take right click new column quarter quarter equal to quarter of dim date table date brace close click save quarter data year month quarter now i want day data day right click new column day equal to day of dim date table day brace close click save day year month quarter day now i need so what is the function required first one how do you need to start you go to modeling menu new table and then write the below formula last class we wrote it and click save dim date equal to calendar date of 2017 0101 so do uh, is it that much important no ba process available without a proper date table without a proper date table no ba project available so it's compulsory important when i get assignments from the company they are also you require date table date table assignments date table examples compulsory required so after creating this what to do go to dim date table comma click add new column right click add new column what to do 
year equal to year of dim date of date. The same process you must repeat. Same process. As you guys are new, so I'm typing it. Once you habituated, I will not type. It saves our time also. See. Year. And you want month column or quarter. Quarter equal to quarter. You want month equal to month. You want day equal to day. Fine, sir. My next concept. My next concept is I need day name or month name, etc. Then possible. So in the DAX level, DD indicate day in two digits. DDD indicate day short name. DDDD indicate day long name. MM indicate month in two digits. MMM indicate month name short. 4Ms indicate month name long y y indicate year in two digits y y y y indicate year in four digits example of two digits today date 727th d d what is today tuesday short Tuesday. Month. What is this? What is today's month? 09. Short September. Long September. Year in two digits. 22. Four digits. 2022. Any questions? So month in two digits, it's a 09 or a 9? Two digits because is zero nine. Right? What we got is just a one, right? For January. Zero one. Oh, okay. The one that table that we got which just created had a zero one or one. Or it does it does it have uh, have to be formatted? No, in case you don't want zero, then you again you know to format or change oh. the data type. Automatic it will change. All right. Automatic it will change. You need not worry. Okay. So guys, my sincere request, kindly ask the question during your class only. At the end, I may close it without listening to you. Or I may not listen, but ask your questions during the class so that you will enjoy. Right. So now what I want to do. So I need month name rightly new column you only tell me new column new column month name but here there is a separate function called format function required this is the only different function year you know quarter you know month you know day you know but month name you want take month name equal to format of <coughs> format which table dim date table date comma month name mmm 4ms indicate month name click save four ms indicate month name now year and month you want a day and month you want right click new column 
డే మంత్ ఈక్వల్ టు వాట్ డు ఫార్మేట్ డిమ్ డేట్ ఆఫ్ డే కామ డే డిడి అండర్ స్కోర్ మంత్ ఎంఎంఎం డే అండ్ మంత్ డే షార్ట్ మంత్ షార్ట్ క్లిక్ చేసి నా so one of our friend asked us sir i don't need time i just need date how do we get it two ways one change the data type go to this column date and time available see this is the column highlighted automatically it will show you here date and time change it to date hoping i addressed second way second way is there right click new column date equal to your own date you can take format dim date one day comma year hyphen month hyphen day you can take like this then also it will take only day are date available date 1 this way also you can take so this is the way we will construct a date table in the real time and not just creating a table see calendar table calendar not just creating you can ask system please consider like date table that is called marking as date table what do you call it marking as date table month name format and dim date of day comma mm day as a month equal to format okay right sir now important marking a table as date table when we mark a table as date table it is suitable date and time calculations which calculations for date and time calculations it is highly suitable highly suitable but the rules are there date column values should be unique no gaps between values date values no gaps continue dates and date values unique no duplicate yes right now our date column not having any gaps our date column having uh unique values then you can click on this date table click on it mark as a date table see this mark as date table it's really a good practice in the real time now you are telling to the system that this table having one column with non duplicate values one column without gaps then click on it mark as date table date column select date click okay validated successfully because the condition satisfied validated successfully click okay see now earlier it was table right now it is a key type what a what type key type key type done everyone clear so this one you need to do mark as date table how do we do that practical dim date table right click right click mark as date table choose 
date column okay that's it so we are done with a date table creation properly what is the next topic before i go for next topic kindly ask your questions if you have any questions offline people are you clear any name any name you can take no need to take dim date date table xyz your name srinivas madhu rajesh any name you can take i'm using some real time technology nothing more than that So I have one question. This BI table, proper table, is always going to be based on calendar year, or company has a fiscal year based on um, April to March. The quarter gets changed based on no, that. I, I said about only date values creation, but the values could be changed. Okay. Maybe fiscal year. So based on the fiscal year, the values might be changed. Okay. Okay. But whatever it may be, date is date always. Right. Next topic. Working with SQL Server or working with databases. First one, relational databases. Second one, cube databases. Please do this. Look at this. Relational database. SQL Server is a relational database. Teradata is a relational database. Oracle is a relational database. Etc. databases. Our cube databases. SSAS. SQL Server Analysis Services. SAP HANA. Etc. cube databases. How do we connect? Only one rule. We need the below. First one, server name. Second one, database name, comma schema name, if applicable, schema name, tables, or views, or procedures, etc. Server name, then database name, schema name, table name, view name, processor name. Next one, credentials to connect. Last one. Mode either import mode, a direct query mode, or connect live mode. Which mode you want to take? Cube databases always support import and connect live connection mode or connect live mode. And relational databases always support import mode and direct query mode. Sir, what is import? Import means structure i told you at the beginning structure plus data comes from database into power bi desktop and stored under desktop memory this is called in memory what do you call it in memory Second one, direct query. Structure only comes to desktop. Structure only comes to desktop. But when do we go for import mode? <laughs> you have less volumes of data, less than 2 GB or 3 GB, you have less volumes of data and faster transformation modeling, then this is good. Import. You have more volumes of data. Hmm. 
more volumes of data. This is good. So coming to import, it visuals bring data from local memory. That in memory coming to this visuals will bring from direct source always hit the source there is one more for connect live connect live also same but that is only for the cubes But this is only for the cubes, cube databases. Theoretically clear with this, everyone? Theoretically clear with this one, everyone? Yes, sir. The import mode, uh, for suppose we will publish the report, right? So yes. the source database, if we are adding any new records, then how it will take from the source again? Yes, yes, yes. I will show you that refresh mechanism. I will show you. Right, sir. Uh, sir, I have a question. Uh, how about a direct query, sir? How, how it works, is it? So what do you mean by how it works? Uh, I mean, uh, it's like import, right? Uh, yeah, we can uh, get it data from the import. For the direct query is... Uh, yeah, I will show you, sir. I'll show you. So now I'll show you practically whatever I explain here. You don't worry. Right. First of all, I, I have SQL server. See, in my machine, SQL Server available. You can ask me, sir, what if I don't have SQL Server and all? Don't worry, just watch it. Don't practice. But we are going to practice it later. So click Services. So in my machine, I have Services area, SQL Server instance. I will show you whether it's running or not. So this is my Windows Services. SQL Server is ready. It is running more. Okay, yes, SQL Server running more. Yes, SQL Server running more. Now I want to work on it. This is my management studio. This is the tool we usually work. This is the tool we usually use to work with SQL Server. And this is my server name. Please remember. So this is a place you find the server name and this is my SQL Server name. And these are the credentials, no issue I'm connecting. Now we have databases, multiple databases. Okay. DB6 PM1 database available, tables available. Only one table available. Maybe multiple views and all available. This is my SQL server name, my database name. As of now, only one table, one table available, multiple views available. Database objects available simply. If you have knowledge, listen to it. Otherwise, ignore. Don't panic. Then how do we bring the data from this? If you're a customer given server name, just go to this, get data, SQL server. 
server name and here database name you need to mention but not compulsory now this is import mode and this is direct query mode Click OK. Import mode. Structure and data will come. This is the database. See, these are the views in my database. This is a table in my database. This is a function in my database. I'll go to this table. I will click load. One table I'm taking, clicking load. Even view data you want, view data. Click load. Now the table and view data will be loaded. Now go to this Hyderabad data. Web data. This is web data, not web data. Table data. Where is the table? Table data. Yes. So table data, you got it in this. This is import mode. When I place cursor here, it is showing me name, storage mode, refresh. First time I'm reading it, that's the refresh time. First time refresh, reading time. In case you modified the source and refresh here, then to show you the respective refresh time here. Otherwise, first time loading time is a refresh time. No issue. This is successful. What next? We can bring the data in direct query mode get data sql server server name direct query mode only structure will come no data click ok db6 pm this is a table data click load same table i'm taking no problem or you want a different view data Take different view, load. Telling me clearly, already you have import more data, now you are going to direct query, it is a risk you want to continue. Yes, okay. Go to this view Mumbai. Clearly telling this is direct query. See, this is a direct query and no data. These are all import mode and this is a direct query, no data. And come to this, even down there is something called mixed mode. Because one is in direct query, rest all in import mode. So this combination is called mixed mode. So Power BI Desktop, based on the mode only, we'll identify what it has. Mixed mode means some queries with structure and data, some queries with only structure. If it shows a direct query, which means the query is having only structure and no data. Only structure and no data. Right. And what I will do is I will take a fresh desktop application. Look at this, everyone. This is a fresh desktop application. get data sql server database click connect 
server name only a direct query i'm selecting click okay go to database human resource this two tables i'm selecting click load See guys, can we see the data? Data view not available, sir. We have queries in direct query mode, no data view. You cannot see. So when you work with visual, this is called a visual. If you use some columns on this visual, any column, this data will come from the database directly no storage here so it will go to database and come directly this is direct query mode even you can see in the down direct query these two direct queries so direct query you can ask me sir can i change it to import mode yes you can change but in which situations we change how we change later part but how to change it to import mode i'm telling focus this is direct query click on it switch all tables to import mode switch See, it's converting all into import mode. See, we have a grid view. Now you're able to see the data because of import mode. Both are converted. So what is direct mode, how it looks like? How to convert into import mode, I explain. When you take into import mode, automatically the grid option is visible so that you can see the data. This is okay, this desktop, I'm closing it. Now this one, mixed mode, can I convert to import mode? Yes, you can click on it. Import mode, switch all tables to import, click on it. Mixed mode to import mode, it will convert the eligible tables. go to this mumbai view mumbai data is this no direct query even if you go to this nothing it is showing nothing it is showing means it's a import mode so while working with databases you will get two modes import or direct query import level both you will get and you will have grid view grid view visible and data you can see but here no grid view no data view you can't see next converting mixed mode or direct query to import 
possible. Mixing mode direct query to import possible. Simply click change. It will change. It is possible. It will change. Converting direct query, sorry, converting import to direct query. No direct option. Come on. We need to implement manually. There is no direct option, guys. We should implement it manually. It is a separate process that you learn later. How to control databases, how to bring the data, I clearly explain. So with server name, database name, required objects names, credentials, by selecting a mode, we will connect. Ask me questions if you have any. Sir, in in, in live, actually how, uh, actually which is the situation we need to use this important direct query actually? See the highlighted part. More volumes if you have direct query less volumes you have import okay. right next one i want to work with cube database same process these only required cube also one kind of database same process this is my services area i have a cube Analysis services cube. Maybe I don't have now. I removed it uh, last week. But cube process also same. We'll see during the cube classes. As I don't have now, I cannot show you. So I will show you during cube classes. We have a separate class. How to create a cube? How to use it? There we will discuss. So this is about working with various data sources in Power BI. So we worked on normal sources, unstructured sources, semi-structured sources, all types of sources. And this is your practical material. You must refer to that material only. So this is your material. Notepad is for my comfortness, but, but you must go through this material. Power BI and PN process. Important terminology before practical. Retrieving data from website or blog or blog URL. Getting data from Excel table, Excel worksheet. Getting data from flat file. Getting data from board. Getting data from PDF. This material location are the same location. Yes, same place location. Videos. Already placed. Getting data from XML. Creating a table using coding. Create a list. Everything spoon feeding way available here. Multiple examples. Creating a date table. Whatever I created is the same thing available. Create a date table using DAX full expressions. Multiple examples, you see this. So this is a material you should follow. Okay, fine, sir. We'll follow this material, perfect. But do we continue with the same source? 